Last year was another record-breaking year for white supremacist propaganda incidents in the United States, with more than 7,500 cases recorded in 2023. It's according to a new report from the Anti-Defamation League. It is the second year in a row the record was broken. The ADL revealed the figure in its annual white supremacist propaganda report. And joining us now to break down those findings, the CEO of the Anti-Defamation League, Jonathan Greenblatt. Jonathan, thanks for being with us as always. Uh, a, a dubious record to break again this year, of course. Uh, what all did you see? What are the areas of greatest concern? Well, thanks for having me, Willie. Indeed, white supremacists and right-wing extremists who may have a hard time showing up in some public places actively use propaganda in order to target, to intimidate, and to victimize minorities. Last year, indeed, the second year in a row, we broke a very new, dubious record. We saw over 7,500 of such propaganda incidents, a 141% increase in anti-LGBTQ propaganda. There's terrible, terrible hatred directed at trans people in particular, and a 30% increase in anti-Semitic propaganda. And we saw, for the first time, really, out in the open, this convergence, Willie, of right-wing extremist white supremacist language with left-wing radical anti-Zionist language. You're seeing the same people who hate Jews for a long time celebrating the 10-7 attack. So there's this weird and sort of twisted marriage between these, again, right-wing extremists and left-wing anti-Zionists we haven't really seen before. These were happening in all 50 states with the exception of Hawaii and Alaska. And there's a handful of groups that are driving this, groups with names like National Justice Party or Patriot Front that come off as being pro-America when they are really nothing more than pro-hate. Jonathan, it's been a couple of years now since Chris Ray, um, the FBI director, testified in Congress that white supremacy was the biggest threat of terrorist threat to uh, Americans. Uh, do you get any sense that the federal government is trying to do anything or having any success in combating anti-Semitism, particularly from these far-right groups? So that, is, does anything work? Kat, it's a really important question. We have found the FBI, federal, state, local law enforcement, to be very focused on the problem. And indeed, you you need to be tracking these people, arresting and prosecuting them to the fullest extent of the law. And when propaganda moves from expressing an idea to inciting violence, there's grounds to do something about it. So definitely law enforcement has a role to play. And again, I will tell you, Director Ray and, and all of the folks that we deal with at DHS, et cetera, have been really, really vigilant. But I will say, Caddy K, their efforts are somewhat hamstrung by the social media companies. I mean, literally, what we're seeing in places like TikTok, and I mean, I get when it's on Truth Social. I guess I have to accept that it's going to be on Parler and these far-right extremist platforms. But when it moves to TikTok, mm -hmm. when it moves to Instagram, when it's popular on uh, Facebook, that's when I know we have a problem because the companies seem either incapable or unwilling to do something to clamp down this hate. I mean, that's how it's happening, Caddy. These actors, again, far-right extremists in particular, far you know, radical anti-Zionists, they coordinate online, they mobilize their people, they spread the flyers, and that's how they end up in people's front lawns, you know, tacked onto synagogues in front of LGBTQ centers. It's really loathsome. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.